Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. So uh, we're now up to session 90. Now if $1,000 is not enough for you each day, you increase your position size, you start trading more contracts. However, we never ever forget our money management rules. And of course, what I cover in these sessions, you apply the exact same setups to any futures market, Forex or stock market. So uh, do get need to get the disclaimer over and done with traders. We do know there's a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. And the great thing about most modern uh, trading platforms, you can trade on the simulator that is trading paper money until you go live. And I'm going to be showing you a couple of options very soon. How you can start with a really small account and build. Now, very quick advertisement. If you haven't already downloaded the truth about day trading, my ebook, please go to the description link below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos better still become a member that is make no mistake traders this is a ten thousand dollar program I'll be really quick with this but this is important there's no need to spend thousands of dollars uh, on your day trading career okay save your money for your trading account for 197 dollars uh, you get all of my indicators if I don't have indicators for your particular trading platform I give you the indicator settings to you so you can use just about every or any common indicator that's on every trading platform I hopefully hopefully that made sense but uh, I've got free indicators for trade station need to trade a 7 8 MT4 uh, think or swim um, and there are hundreds of hours of uh, online training uh, now when I say online training by the way I talk a lot about <laughs> I might as well bring this up now the Goldilocks rule and this is really important when it comes to mastering out of day trading is you know not too hard not too easy just right you only want to learn just a couple of just that really a few setups when you start uh, uh, day trading or your day trading career in fact what I'm going to be showing you today the trades I took were all trend following trades these are the trades that I would be recommending that you actually trade yourself so $197 as well as that you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions so I run every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run two hour classes where I'm teaching traders uh, everything from the psychology of trading through to money management through to how to trade the setups uh, and that's included as a bonus so all of that for only 197 now after month one if you wish you can drop me an email and then continue for $97 a month cancel at any time but you're not automatically signing up for that so there's no further debits from your credit card etc so hopefully by the time we finish your session you'll go wow I want this so let's now get into this now what I actually did I rec I started to record this session and uh, for, for my members and we'll go to the recording but what I failed to do traders was um I don't know what I did with the sound so there's, there's no sound on it so I'm gonna play some of it in the background very short very, very very soon and I'll tell you exactly uh, what I'm doing and uh, at the time because unfortunately you can see me moving around with the mouse and whatever but you can't hear me so first of all I trade five lots I don't trade 100 this suits me uh, a great lifestyle I'm uh, semi retired I'm in my 60s if you're a young gun of course you might want to earn this every couple of hours okay or your, your goal may be five ten thousand dollars a day which there's a lot of professional day traders out there doing that however that's not the majority so I'm going to walk you through these trades now in fact I had five um, oh, what was it three great trades here and I was up after commissions 1292 but then once I'd finish your recording and finish the session I then pushed my luck and I went for another trade that was just off screen and I got stopped immediately now the challenge with this trade is I know better <laughs> that is I sold directly into all of these flat 
EMAs now if we go back to this one here we can see here that we've got some flat EMAs but we've also got some what we call running room into those okay and so and and we'd had one two three they'd been uh, back here there was a couple as well we've been coming back to the 200 EMA and when you keep coming back to a, a having such deep pullbacks we usually expect to change market direction well that wasn't to be however we were dead pan flat and I sold there and I got stopped out immediately so I'd actually finished my trading I thought right that's it for the day hit my daily target which is a thousand a day happy as a pig in poo so let's wrap it up but I got a little bit greedy now what then happened was then a beautiful double top which I didn't jump on okay and if we look at that here so for members here uh, you can see what we've got there we've got t12s with great divergence so it was a great potential setup so I sat back for a few minutes and then I had this trade five set up I wanted to get back because it had knocked me back to about $900 net so I then uh, sold here um, uh, which is what we call a 3b and then I had a t10 set up so I jumped on the t10 and I then uh, got out here down here at the pivots and I was up um, 1550 so I got out I thought oh, I want to get out and just finish up for the day I was actually quite peeved <laughs> about this particular setup here now I wrapped that up and so that was a, a good outcome but what I want to show you also is just after that because was this just a fluke and you've seen many many of my videos hopefully and you know this is a typical day and you know and straight after there were probably another good 10 trades in a row trend following so there's some great opportunities but before we get to the charts and the recordings this is where I want to plant the seed in your mind this would be a game changer for 98 percent of a population a thousand dollars a day now let's talk about realistic targets and I know if you've seen my videos you've seen this I want this to really sink in because all of a sudden when you start to believe it's achievable and you start to take action towards your goal you're going to get there so if you really want to get to 5,000 a week which is for 98 percent of the population and let's just say after holidays 200,000 plus a year working part-time from home how do we do that 10 contracts by only $100 a day now I'll show you that on the screen how we do that quite it's very very straightforward now uh, and oh, now let me just come back here where I say it's very very straightforward trading is 90% psychology and this is the stuff that once again um, losing traders don't want to hear that is we break our rules continually by um, uh, for an example what I did there with that trade okay selling we call that by the way the ice cream sandwich zone okay selling directly into flat major EMAs you've got spaghetti you shouldn't do that okay and so fortunately trading can be very forgiving if overall you're following the rules in the long term now as you gain experience you can then step it up where you go for a realistic $300 a day which is $3,000 a day for most people I tend to find gee if I could be earning 500 to a thousand dollars a day I would be very very happy with that well I'm going to show you how to realistically do that but there are certain rules and actually I might even come back to this one because what I do want to quickly do is this if you haven't already seen this uh, and even if you've got four five ten twenty thousand dollars I want you to just listen for a couple of minutes um, to what I have to say here um, start small miss small make all the mistakes you're going to make on a micro account a micro account is 10% of the value of a big contract now I'm talking here about trading what we call a four tick Renko chart which I'll show you for the experienced traders here this is during the Globex session of course you can't trade a four tick during the New York session it's too fast or you can on oil and some of the other markets and by the way if you trade using a tick chart a time-based chart uh, a volume chart uh, Heike and Ashi, you apply the exact same setups to those charts I prefer uh, Renko 
it's uh, easier for new traders to learn a smooth out price action there's many benefits but here you start off with uh, $400 and going for $20 a day in 12 weeks your account is up to $4,000 basically and how this compound table works unlike some of the rubbish you see on the internet is you only start trading an extra contract every time you double your money so you go from 400 to 800 you start trading two. go to 1200 you can start trading three we're using the markets money then by week 12 we can roll over now and start trading the big contract now a lot of traders out there also well, you don't need four thousand dollars to trade the NQ or two and a half to trade the YM or whichever market you wish to trade but yes you do and the reason being traders we never ever ever risk any more than 2% of our account on any one trade or should I say on any open trades uh, this is absolutely critical and this is where so many traders are greedy they want to you know put up there and think gee this is looking great high probability setups let's risk five percent uh-uh for trading gods know you're doing that and they come and drain your trading account what this means by applying discipline patience uh, the right money management rules is that within 12 weeks we're basically up to our ten thousand dollars a week we've now got close to fifty thousand in our account okay this is what this is the reality now if you're trading say a higher time frame during the New York hours uh, you can earn four six eight hundred a thousand dollars a contract but once again that's not the majority of the traders that's a minority now this is about having a realistic achievable plan you start off with a micro of 400 yes you need a trading platform for an example you can lease ninja trader um, I forget how much per month it is but it's it's well under a hundred dollars or you can buy buy it outright now uh, you can go to trade station or, or there are other trading platforms so you need that but you don't need a huge trading account now once you go from the simulator to a real account that is you do not start trading even a $400 account until you've mastered the setups on the simulator I want you to remember that what you're actually doing is creating muscle memory so if you for and I know for some of you watching this and I know even for some of our members is $400 is peanuts to them and if you blow 400 so what top it up but what you're actually doing is is creating uh, negative pathways okay so it's very very important that you approach this as a profession now in 12 weeks you're there and a further 12 weeks we're now up to the potential income of 10,000 a week now time's gonna pass anyway where do you want to be financially in 24 weeks now another one of the questions that comes up well this is great Ray um, how many hours a day do I need to put in I'm gonna say as a minimum and I know some of you will switch off and you you won't become members but that's fine that's okay uh, because I want members that are serious about a career otherwise I send your emails they're complaining and whatever but you need to be allowing two hours a day or at least three you know three days a week where you can put in more than two hours okay this is about pattern recognition it's not difficult what we do um, in fact some of it's easy well if it's easy why doesn't everyone make money because sometimes traders the easy things are easy not to do and that's a critical thing you see winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do so we're going to go to well let's I'll try the replay first okay <laughs> let's see how we go with this replay I don't know what it's going to be like here but let's give it a go but here are some absolute critical factors now for many traders or, or brand new traders you will know probably very little about these levels uh, virtually every modern pl trading platform now will plot these automatically for you or you just very easy to recognize but they're absolutely critical in your success but they're also easy to learn 
okay so we want to be checking where are our pivot levels where are the prior days open high low and close our major EMAs you know that trade I just showed you I got stopped on flat 89s and 200s are evil <laughs> all right particularly when you've got um, a confluence of all of your EMAs at that area where are your intraday swing highs and lows that is you get little swings there. and the reason being they become price magnets and of course the current days are high and low and actually can even we really should put in there the current days open high and low because that can also um, act as a price magnet so let's give this a go so what I've got here and we'll look at this on the charts by the way we'll go because I want to show you what happened after this now fortunately it's very hard for me to keep these videos short because I want to give you massive value when I show you these so they usually run a good 30 45 minutes because hey if if you're going to make a decision about becoming a day trader or changing the way the thing or the things you've been doing in the past you've got to have the right information and I'm prepared to show you that so let's start here so first of all um, uh, this was a 3b and that would have been a 3 3b I wasn't on that one so I, I executed this trade and uh, nice little trade entry down to here not this one I'll explain this in a moment and I thought oh, I might just um, do some recording I should record these so excuse me just cough then um, so what I had just down here notice this bounce here trade is just there and there and almost here this is the current days open and so these levels you see all the time they act to support resistance areas so I missed it by a couple of ticks and let's now start this so what I was looking for here was another short trade so this is real price action ticking over just here now I've got a resting order sitting here a sell stop order waiting or anticipating a reversal up here somewhere okay so what you'll see me do is drag my order up as I start to calculate where I want to put my entry in and so for members watching this I'm watching my of course the anchor chart one so I'm watching the anchor chart one and the bar status indicator so it's telling me basically when to get ready so you'll actually see me and by the way this goes for 20 minutes I'm going to fast forward some of this as we as we go along just so we're not watching it for, for the full 20 minutes because I once again I want to get to the charts and so here I've got a, uh, a sell stop order in uh, just here so uh, and I'll adjust that if the market keeps rallying up I'll keep lifting my order up uh, until it's no longer oh, where it is there so it popped down and I then had a trade not long after well obviously <laughs> I'd pause the recording and so I'm now in this trade and you can see down here I've got a target now this is where quite often I'll then increase my target and go for a larger target when I've got a major area of support or resistance above or below me okay now I do want to just pause this and show you this here because this is important uh, so where I talk about netting $200 a day and being extremely realistic you know the big question is then okay sounds great but then how do we do it that is what steps do I need to take to achieve this goal so if you're trading the four tick never risking more than uh, 2% or $400 risking more than $8 on the micro what I need to achieve on average is what we call um, six step trades I need between four really between four and five six step trades a day now I'll show you what I mean by steps when I go back to the chart now on $200 a day let me just remind you $200 a day look where you are in 12 weeks basically a $10,000 a week income trading basically 10 to 12 contracts now the point here is traders what are the best of the best trades that are going to get you there they're going to be major EMA bounces now there's a little more to that 
of course you need to understand the money management and the targets and all that sort of thing but I'm going to show you how these six step to seven steps are extremely achievable so if I scroll down here how you only require four six step trades a day that is two B's that's what you're after we call them two B's now you now gain experience you're starting to lift your skill set okay now we can jump up to 250 day and maybe even throw I'm not even going to show you the $300 a day uh, concept now by the way for those experienced traders watching this you can actually trade uh, using a 12 tick stop if you use my super scalper however for members watching this it means also you don't have the AC one candle closing so here you could get that down and it blows these figures out of water but you certainly can if you're just using your, your uh, the super scalper for your entries but down here 250 today look where you are there 13 weeks 13,000 a week income how to oops same thing but oh there it is there if I'm going for my six steps I only need five trades a day or if I achieve seven and I'll show you what that is in a moment and the how to get the seven is more important uh, you need four of those net after any losses so getting back to this and just so everyone's very clear we could I well I call these steps so on the Renko you can see you're like you're stepping down or you're stepping up now on this particular time frame each step this is a what we call a four tick Renko so each from the height of the low of each one of these candles or bricks as they Renko means uh, that's worth $20 but each step is worth $10 so to achieve 250 a day you need four seven step trades a day four seven step trades a day as you can see all of these are much greater than seven and once again we're going to go to the live charts in a moment and I'll show you there's a lot of them but the specific things you're looking for when you're looking for the deeper retracements and the larger moves but the smaller moves such over here it's called a t10 just there they can be very sweet too and still be great trades so let's go back to this for a moment now quite often traders will ask me how long does it take before realistically I could be day trading live and I say to everyone allow at least 90 days excuse me one moment give yourself that 90 to 180 days you can trade the rest of your life you, you there's only one way to learn how to trade and that's the right way and yes as I said earlier I could sell a stack more courses and, and coaching whatever by giving you some big line and saying you can master this in 30 days it's just not true unless you've already you're already an experienced trader okay if you're an experienced trader you'll pick these setups um, up there are uh, all they're rules based their patterns they're logical okay and if you're thinking oh these won't work on my market well traders the only way these setups will not work is if you're trading into chop or and I'll explain what I've just done here in a moment uh, or you're trading the wrong time frame or exiting the trade too early so let me tell you what I've just done so for members watching this I just had a 3b just here uh, and then I had a t10 set up so I decided to uh, add to my position okay so you can see down here and if I remember correctly like this is from yesterday so I can't remember exactly that's a long time <laughs> in my world okay so here short of this let me just start I think I probably pause the video here okay and what you've got to be careful of and this can be oh and what I'm doing here I'm checking my anchor chart now let me pause this for a moment I trade in the direction of a higher time frame okay and that's one of the great secrets to my success is I'm using a higher time frame I've discovered a, a formula of entry chart which is what we trade on to the anchor chart one and anchor chart two that is the increase in time frames we use on each of those and believe it or not it makes a, a massive difference so here I'm checking the higher time frame 
for the trade overall trend direction and of course I'm checking where the pivots are and things like that okay so that's what I'm doing just here I then go back and you can't in real life jumped ahead there but I've increased my targets here and the reason being I'm looking down here at the current days open thinking gee whiz I could get back down here now here's the challenge now quite often here uh, if you increase your target the market sort of breathes it'll come down go up come down so it's sort of it's a double-edged sword that is yes you can go for larger targets but then quite often the stress it gives you that is um, I've got a mantra get in get out get paid get that cash registered to ring meaning you'll usually see me scalp for a smaller target okay um, uh, and get back in again now this is what actually happens here you'll see in a moment that we were coming down quite nicely now by the way 10 contracts is the maximum I will uh, trade why comfort factor okay young guns different events not just about the money traders and by the way I only traded a 0.5 to 1% risk so I can add to a position but I won't go any more than uh, five contracts ah I should just point this out where I'm committing so much per contract so for an example just to explain this on the YM I'll trade eight lots why because I can trade the YM with a lot less money but that's getting beyond this here so let's just skip along a little bit here so you can see here I've got a bit of a pullback here okay and we're coming back down again and if you look at there I've kept my stops right up there whoops oh, that and I'm just going to this here just explaining the members thinking that <laughs> I can be talking that stage but I mucked that bit up and you can see by maintaining my stop loss up here I, I was mighty fine however for members watching this as you can also see we easily achieved our five steps okay so if we were scalping for five steps we'd be looking for additional entries okay and just there as an example what is that there that's another 3b okay so just there and I was still in those trades so I didn't add so I'm just going back to that uh, let's just get back to here so that just there was the 3b so one two three so I had my three trades so let me just skip along just here we then once again had as good as what we call a pivot bounce now remember on that slide that I showed you how important it was that you know where your um, open high low and close levels are where your pivots are this is the reason why okay so here I'm yapping away here talking to members or think I'm talking to them <laughs> and there's no sound okay I'm just going back and just pointing out other trading opportunities um, and then I had that big rally up now that's when I then stopped trading now by the way for members watching this uh, this is a t12 setting up so let's now minimize that and let's go to the charts because there's a lot more I want to show you here whoops wrong one where are we there we go okay so this is the um, uh, the trade so I'd finished trading over here I then rallied up uh, so right there for members watching you had a t12 and another t12 okay so I effectively took this t12 and as you can see how flat we are I've been having a pretty good run but I also knew that look this is a really risky area you don't mind if your EMAs are all can all, all like this here traders if they're trending but when you're flat okay so I came down sold into those which was an error by the way um, I just shouldn't have done it I bounced we then formed a beautiful double top okay and a further t12 and you had divergence and I wasn't on that particular trade so we came down we had a pivot bounce we rallied up and then I had a 3b again now I jumped in this 3b and my target quite frankly was to get back above a thousand dollars so I sold there came down pull back and then I had a beautiful t10 setup okay so I had a t10 sold that 
uh, I was watching the meter and I got out basically at the pivot and I was up what was it close to 15 oh there it is there 1424 after comms so very very happy with that now what if you're a young gun and you want to keep trading okay or what if you didn't start at this time now I trade during the Globex session which is the after hours market so the market closes at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard that is the futures market and it opens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard okay and so uh, we can trade after hours now you don't have the volume but if you're a 10 contract trader no problem okay if you want to trade 100 contracts wrong time of the day for you to be trading and the other advantage of trading this time of day is the market is just ticking over okay uh, and it, and when I say ticking over uh, that's not always true sometimes it can really speed up but there's some great trading opportunity opportunity to so you get home from work and you can trade but let me just show you what exactly I am looking for so traders what I'm looking for when I trade here is I'm looking for like just here and for members watching this uh, one, two, three. that was a, a t3 right there so we've got and the reason I give um, codes because naturally it's a long explanation to why we've got these setups but all of these are uh, a rules based patterns but note here how you bounced off yesterday's open and off a pivot note over here we're bouncing so now we come up now I'm going to really give you some lessons here on how to day trade because this is really what we're looking for I want you to notice here that the EMAs are in a downtrend okay so you can see here and we call this a fanning of the EMAs in many ways day trading is like chess because there's three things that happen we could go short we could go long we can go sideways okay so what I'm looking for is as I'm rallying up I'm expecting a bounce at any one of these levels so you can see here this is called the super scalp of the white paint bar but that doesn't plot immediately so what I'm looking for is the super scalp of a plot now when you see it it's my um, short um, signal okay, I'm coming up coming up coming up coming up coming up right there now I wouldn't be in until now okay so I'm going to enter the trade now now in taking this trade uh, and I wasn't on this one remember I'd hit my target now but if you were trading I want you to notice here that you've got a bounce off the pivot it's also called a 3b for members watching this with any trade you take we always say do we have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that we want to look ahead of this what's in front of the trade that is is there anything there that we might bounce off well we can see down here we do have a pivot we do have yesterday's open we did bounce but we have pushed through uh, I did have a lower low remember what the footprints to a trend are lower low lower high lower low lower high you get some little micro moves in between but basically that tells us we're going to look for a short now I look for the next major swing low now remember earlier I mentioned we want to know where our swing lower and actually if I can easily pull that up there it is there so once again where are our pivots open high low and close 89 and 200 intraday swing highs and lows and the reason we want to look for those intradays not the minors but the, the more significant waves or, or swings I should say and I've got one right there okay now you can actually um, we can go and put on uh, and I just want to just quickly show you this we can if I go and do actually probably pay me to do this other one rather than that one so let me just show you this and the great thing is now there are indicators that will basically um, plot and tell us where these levels are this is just one version okay so you can plot the, you can make that a line you can do all sorts of things there and so just identify helps identify potential targets now remember I mentioned we're after four six step trades or five four seven step trades a day look how many steps there are in some of these moves deeper pullbacks larger moves 
so let's just see how we would go if we entered now let's just say now one two three four five now there we're not quite five little bit of a bounce that's five six seven okay so there we touch seven and now I've got actually another entry so remember I mentioned we've got our three B I've got an exact same pattern as I've got here so I've got another shorting opportunity but that's uh, seven I think eight nine whoops ten that's $100 110 120 uh, and we've got a wee bit of a bounce just here now what are we now looking for now remember I'm only after two hundred dollars a day to 250 a day per contract where that varies is if I'm trading a higher time frame and I had which is more capital intensive a bit beyond today's video but on average you're after two to three hundred dollars per contract okay so as I pull back here guess what else I'm now looking for and there it is right there okay we've now got another short opportunity now this one is called a 2b so this is a 2b entry we may not be until now or even here but let's we're in by the way I was going to say even with that if that went up again I was going to say we're in oh and I should point out my stop goes one tick above if I've got a runaway market and I use a market order I will set a larger um, I'll use a fixed stop okay uh, I didn't explain that correctly actually <laughs> when I enter I'll usually have a fixed stop anyway one tick above but let's just say if I use a market order and my entry is down here my standard stop is here if I've got momentum I'll just leave that stop just there okay um, hopefully that made sense so as we're coming down okay so there one two three four five six there you go eight nine ten okay and look what's straight below us there traders now as we're hitting the s1 now I can't remember what happens here but as you hit the pivot what are we expecting you expect the bounce you bounced you bounce we finally push through this is going to be my first bounce if it does now just remember we could punch through and what I always do is I always do this traders see down here we got yesterday's low and I've got another major pivot so we actually may we got a strong trend here we may punch through but let's see and we do oh hang on no here's, here's the bounce my apologies so we did get a bit of a bounce how do I know because we see it every single day now just there for members watching what you've got right there is a t10 so you've got a t10 long where would your target be you've got angulation you probably target up there at the pivot so the pivot up there to the 89 EMA now I won't go to the anchor chart but one thing I'd be checking you'll probably find this is also a 1 or a 2d now as you approach your 89 and the pivot what are we looking for first of all traders what's the trend telling me we are in a solid downtrend I'm looking for a short up here and I've got one right there how do I know traders because we get it these patterns repeat day in day out like clockwork now remember I spoke to you about the swings that swing there you can see there found a bit of resistance there where's our next major swing down here so let's just see how we go one two three four five six seven eight didn't quite touch eight now that was um, eighty dollars per contract by the way uh, eight nine ten eleven and guess what we're bouncing off the support level now as we pull back what are we looking for the super scalp bar uh, and there it is there a bit earlier than what I thought it was going to be where is our pivot well down here I've got yesterday's low okay so I'm looking that is a great price magnet one two three four five six it's I think it's five in it six seven eight and guess what I've got just here I would definitely have divergence on the anchor chart one by the way and that means for me I've got a trade now 
all you want to do initially is trade with the trend do not CT trade I love the t10s I love counter trend trading I've been doing this for 28 years now so I've got a slight advantage over uh, most traders but I really recommend traders initially you want to stay right away from counter trend trading until you're consistently profitable and even then if you're a five lot trader or a 10 lot trader or 20 have and consider halving the number of contracts you trade initially okay so what I've got here uh, I've now got a what I call a PB a pivot bounce and I'm going to target our 89 EMA and I look I don't want to change actually let me just do this I've got to check to see whether this was actually I have to know <laughs> uh, whether that's what we call and we will finish up on this so let me ah yes it is okay and you may be wondering what I'm looking at just here let me pull it down and show you okay so just here pivots and major support areas if I if you've got divergence off those off these levels great they make fantastic points for divergence now remember that's it uh, um, 40 minutes past the hour midnight let's have a look at this whoops come on bring that down so if we come down to here so that's it just there now that is what we call divergence see this just here lower low on price I'm bouncing off the pivot oh and we're also bouncing off the low of day divergence lower low on price higher low and look what we our next target would be see the 34 so this is um, let me just drag that back up again so I'm after a bounce there at the 89 and do you know what we'd be doing here you betcha now I will point out that this is called a 2BD this can be slightly higher risk but if you didn't take that one you definitely want to be in on this t10 just there okay and you'd be looking at selling down to the uh, support level again usually when we see this by the way for charters that are watching this we call this a descending triangle of course so traders what you can see there is that you know trading with a trend this is not difficult the biggest thing is is really mastering your mind that is um, uh, getting over the greed factor being willing to follow the rules these are the things that really let traders down so many are just not willing to do that and so where traders will say oh the setups don't work the only reason they won't work is if you don't do the work that is a trend bounce is a trend bounce okay if you're trading with the trend with the right tools in front of you you can as you can see there we can clearly identify our entries now what percentage or how rules based are they look I'd say 90% plus but there's a couple of things you still need to do you've got to check where are those major support resistance areas and you've got to check are you trading with the trend so traders um, giving you hopefully a really good uh, rundown come and join me $197 for my entire program once only by the way and you have lifetime access to it uh, and all the updates and I also include one month of coaching so you can attend the live sessions uh, if you and there's additional handouts and powerpoints by the way there's over 35 powerpoints for new traders don't worry you don't have to go through them all but for the serious traders that want to really learn how to trade with the train train reversals uh, in chop so we, I've really got the complete suite of indicators uh, uh, sorry of setups however if you're also just want to focus on trading with the trend as you can see there um, uh, just a matter of sitting and waiting for those EMA bounces so traders I hope to see you uh, as a member even better still I'll see you uh, on my next video uh, thanks traders